All right, this is my freaking fourth take. My monitor was in frame. So, let's just try and do this one again, huh? God damn. <clears throat> Fucking Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> today's video <laughs> is going to be picking up the one JZ and installing the rear sump onto it. It is, I went with a 2JZ rear sump because that's what I found and uh, they're universal across all 1J, 2JZ, turbo, non-turbo. Don't quote me on that. I know I'm pretty positive it is because we actually had to drill. So the 2JZ oil didn't have a return for the turbo. So we actually had to drill a hole, like, like the, the spots there, spots there for it, but you just had to drill it out. So that's what we did. And then I just ended up mounting the oil return onto the pan. So you can do it. <clears throat> it does work. Not That was definitely a non-turbo uh, pan, but it worked fine. A little bit more work was involved, but not bad. And then, yeah, my panels, I got my panels back up. I forgot to talk about that in the last video. They're just mounted on plywood. Uh, I got some video I'll throw in and overlap it with this, but it's literally just some plywood and then I glued it onto it uh, and then layered that with another panel so it'd keep pressure with the, pa the panels under it and kind of just stacked them as I glued them. And so the main reason for this was if I move, I can just remove these panels and take them with me. So that was, that was why I did it so I can reuse them and I don't have to ruin the wall and glue them onto the wall. So, yeah, here's my intro. I keep forgetting to roll my intro. Last video, I didn't really talk about where my car was at. I said it was in my garage with the engine in it, which means it's like fucking done, but it's not done. Uh, all this stuff is gonna be in the next few videos to catch up to this point. Like right now, filming this, it's like, I hate talking like past tense, but this, all this was filmed like three months ago, <laughs> four months ago. So <clears throat> that's, it's kind of weird. So like from the beginning of the videos from now on, I'm gonna like talk about it a little bit and then just fucking play it from then. It's not gonna be this long, so I'm still kind of like filling in stuff that I forgot to talk about in the last video. Last video was really unorganized. I didn't have any notes, nothing absolutely nothing just kind of randomly did it i also got a new car i got a 2007 mini cooper s so it's a turbocharged six speed and it's pretty freaking fast i like it my main reason for getting it was a daily because i don't have really a good daily so that's my new daily and i'm not doing anything crazy with it uh anytime soon i'm doing like wheels coilovers and just making it look nice um I'm doing a downpipe today, actually, for it. Uh, down the road, it's gonna be like head studs, head gasket, bigger turbo, and pump more power through, because it's pretty fast, and it'll be a really fun car. And they're super, like, I don't I wanna say cheap, but like simple-ish to get to everything, and it's all just like small, and I like it, so I'm, I'm gonna be building a Mini Cooper. Never thought I'd own a Mini Cooper, but hey, here we are. Here's, so here's, here's all the footage for the, picking up the 1J and all that stuff, so here's this. All right, so we did pick up the engine. It is not in a crate like I was hoping. Yeah, usually they, ha I've always seen them with a stand that kept it off the pan and everything else. Yeah, they kind of really didn't do it. Uh, uh, a nice uh, stand. Throttle position sensor is broken. Two dents in the cover. Other than that, it's fine. In 
Imodium. Oh, Imodium. Okay. I was trying a different preset to do, to see if the autofocus would work better with the different focusing area. But so far it does not work, so I'm going back to my, the spot one where you can like move it around. It's a beefy boy. Um, I'm gonna look into like emissions removal and like stuff people do before they drop them in. Um, I'm gonna rip the transmission off of the 13B um, in the next few days. And then I'll put this and the trans, and then I'll just have those in the garage, I'll clean my garage, and then I'll start doing some, some engine work. I thought I was gonna come in a crate, but it's fine. There wasn't anything that bad. I have to drain the oil and do all that stuff, so I'll raise that up for when I do that pretty high up so I can actually reach the underside of it and do the gaskets and all that stuff. So I did get Seal Packing 103 FIPG that everyone's been saying I need to use. I got that, so that'll be going on with the oil pan. So, hopefully there's enough there. So yeah, I'm just gonna get it off the pallet and start looking at the parts for that. So thinking about it now, probably should have like pressure washed this and cleaned it. I don't really like to do that. So I took off this uh, throw out bearing and it's just completely fucked. <laughs> it's like pieces falling off of it. And I throw this in the back of my good old boot. So I got it all cleaned pretty decent. I'm gonna go over it with, like there's a few spots that I still have to like clean up, but it's not, I'm not too worried about it. Oh God. Good Lord. That's fucking on there. They're the same pan. And they're not. So, what I do on this, my GoPro's acting all brief, is I usually get as much of the gasket as I can with a razor blade. And then I will go through with um, one of these wire wheels and then just get the rest of it off. So I'm recording this in 1080 again because I tried the 4K and it's just, it eats up battery or SD card super fast. So I'm not using that much anymore.
out. Try and clean it up a tiny bit more on the outside, then I'm just gonna paint it. This is the next. This one's a little bit bigger. That one will be next. I can let this one at least start the paint at first I have to get. So I got stuff painted and most of the gaskets off, so now I'm just removing this sump. So that's the plan right now. This, and then hopefully the other one bolts up. I guess we'll see. Got the, uh, here go. I got the oil pan all tapped and drilled right here. So we did, we got that drilled, tapped, and ported for the freaking return to go on. So now we're good. I'm just gonna clean this up and then I have to remove the gasket from the bottom of the engine. And then I'll good to install it. So Huh? All right, well, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, I'm trying to keep it short. It's my main goal is to keep it short. I don't like long videos. I don't like watching long videos. I understand not watching long videos <clears throat> on YouTube. So, yeah, that's that's about, that's that's what's going on. So hopefully this is in the eight minute frame, which it might be. Uh, probably not though. I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Uh, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I uh, post every Wednesday. Uh, at a certain time, not sure. Uh, probably around like eight o'clock, eight or nine, no, seven or eight. Yeah. Thanks for watching.
hate, I hate, I hate exiting or ending videos. They're just, it's not, it's not fun. I feel awkward and weird. <laughs>